All right, we're just going to have a look at a few do's and don'ts of uh, entering a confined space using a rig for rescue system. Okay, so obviously you, if you're entering a confined space, you want to be rigged for rescue. The last thing you want to be doing is, you know, old school breaking into tight lines or anything like that. So I see a lot of this while I'm out and about. I'll just open my confined space. Um, make sure you clipped on while you do that. Uh, so I've got a uh, new ID, an ASAP, and then we're sending technicians in so I can get onto these, abseil down. In theory, anything goes wrong, then we can just put a haul system on to pull them out. The big problem with this is that if anything happens to this line, we're now locked on and it's not a rig for rescue system. So if you're doing any kind of entry-based stuff, you want to be on two descenders so that both systems can be turned into a haul system. So I'm going to take that out. So what is good for this? New rig. What's so good about the new rig? Or what's so good about both of them? Is that if you're using them as a backup, they're auto locking. Okay, so now we can go on. Technician can abseil down normally. You don't need to lower him in. And then if anything happens to him, it's very easy to turn this. Into a haul system. So I'll haul on the ID because it's got a bigger circumference. So I'll put my first pulley on. I mean, you, you can have all this pre-rigged if you want. That goes up into there, and then spare pulley and a basic into there. Just means I don't drop it. And then shut out my ropes. So that's my three to one. So my whole system's ready to go. I've got 80 kilos on the other side of that. So a couple of jugs taken on the rig. So that, you know, the new rig's great because we don't have to start messing about with that. If we're not lucky enough to have a head rig or something like that above our confined space entrance, then we could look at using a tripod. It is important that you use something rather than just trying to, you know, pull your casualty up to the edge and then try and get, you know, if your ropes are running over here, then try and get your casualty out because it will be very difficult. Uh, so I'll tether my hatch. Okay, and then we're going to look at a few different methods. So we've kind of covered uh, using basic rope access equipment. Um, we're moving more and more into the age of powered ascenders, uh, and this is the lockhead winch from Harken. So tripod mountable, pop it in, and then a split pin at the bottom. Uh, but it is also reversible, depending on what side that you want to haul from. Uh, so split pin can go on the bottom. Fasten it on, and then it also needs a securing strap to the base of the tripod. So this is your main point of attachment rather than just the mounting brackets. Okay, just make sure that's fairly, fairly tight. Okay, and then we can thread our rope in. So the first thing it does goes into the pigtail and then depending on the load that you think you're going to have two or three turns I'm just going to go for two and then just open this and then feed it round into some captive jaws back out the other side all right so that can be both an anchor for someone working but it's also now ready to haul as well uh, for my backup I'm going to go for an ASAP again it's easy to handle. So 
All right, so on there, so there's, there's two options with this. Uh, I start to haul. So at the minute, I've got 80 kilos on there. I'm kind of chatting. So this is in 13 to one, which is pretty quick. It's flying up. Don't forget your back up. But if I turn it the other way, it's now in 50 to one. All right, so this thing's good for both. Um, it's good up to 500 kilos, this lift, hence the 50 to one. But it's for man riding, it's good for two people in a rescue. So 240 kilos. A good advantage to using the handle is you can feel, you can feel the tension as he's coming up, if he's snagging on anything. Obviously, if you've got a live casualty, you don't want him to get his leg stuck through a ladder and then try to pull it off with a 50 to one. So if you think that's gonna to be too tiring for you, it also comes with a, uh, a drill mount. So you need, a lot of people have been using like um, powered angle drills and then it, it really will, whiz up um, so yeah you just need to stick that in a chuck and off you go uh, and then to turn it into a the locket into a lowering device pretty easy we just turn this handle and the friction around the drum you might have to feed a bit in just to get it going make sure he's going through his hole well, it's pretty smooth nice and controllable 